Good morning, Claxton students, staff, and families. Today is Tuesday, December 15th, and today is the 81st day of school. Today is National Cupcake Day. Cupcakes are believed to be 224 years old. My favorite flavor of cupcake is definitely Funfetti with cream cheese frosting. Today's weather is partly cloudy with a high of 47. And now let's check in on our high B days and together we read Tuesdays. Hear ye, hear ye, for today we shall celebrate the birthday of Micah M in fourth grade and our very own Miss P. Happy birthday, Micah. Happy birthday, Miss P. And many more. Good morning and welcome to Together We Read Tuesdays. Guys, this is our last Together We Read Tuesday of 2020. Ah. Um, and I have to take this opportunity um, to tell you from the bottom of my heart how proud we are of each of you, our Claxton leaders. You have been so strong and so resilient. Um, this has not been the easiest year, has it? <laughs> um, but you have been proactive. You've been getting onto your meets. You have been beginning with the end in mind by focusing on your schoolwork. You have been putting first things first by getting your assignments completed. And we see that and we congratulate you on that. Um, and we are entering into some much needed sharpen the saw time, aren't we Claxton? So I wanted to share a book with you today. The Snowy Day by Ezra Jack Keats. This book was published in 1962. That was a long time ago. Like I totally wasn't even born yet. Um, but it still holds such a special place in so many people's hearts. Um, and it's such an important book and it's such a lovely book. And one of the things that I think that I love the most about this book is that every time I read it, you get this sense of wonder. Like the wonder that comes from waking up in the morning and looking out the window and it's, it's a snowy day, you know, and like the wonder that comes when um, Peter, the main character of the book, explores his neighborhood. It seems like a brand new place because it's all covered in snow. Um, and I think one of my favorite pages um, is Peter sitting on a stool after he came in from playing and his mom is taking his socks off and it says he told his mother all about his adventures while she took off his wet socks as a mom that is a page that I just love um, and then of course too one of the best things is to share all of this wonder with friends so at the end of the book it says how Peter called to his friend from across the hall and they went out together in the deep, deep snow. Hmm? Claxton friends, I wish you many wet sock adventures this winter or dry sock adventures. Those are okay too. Um, and many, many days of wonder. I have a great read aloud of this book on my webpage, as well as more information about this wonderful book and uh, a book called A Poem for Peter, the story of Ezra Jack Keats and the creation of the snowy day that is written by Andrea Davis Pinckney. So for this break, I wish you the wonders of the winter holidays. Um, I'll cross my fingers that you get some wonders of snowy days as well. Go into 2021 knowing um, how strong you are, how resilient you are, um, and how wondrous you are. We are proud of you, Claxton leaders. Happy holidays. All right, Claxton leaders, Josie says, what does Aladdin wear on Fridays? His ripped blue genies. <laughs> Pretty good. Miss Turner says, muffins spelled backwards is what I like to do after I take them out of the oven. <laughs> Give them. Ah, uh, Miss Turner, that's a good one. We also have a few jokes from the drama seesaw. Let's check them out. What do you call a deer with no eyes? 
No idea. <laughs> My name is Morgan and I am first spray. Why is a cow bathing in drive? Because it's a moving cow. I'm ready for some golden tickets. Gemma would like to give one to Miss Nichols for being thoughtful to everyone in and out of school. Thanks, Gemma. Miss Kickert would like to give a golden ticket to the following students for working hard to complete their biography writing on a historical figure. Joey B, Valentina, Rozzy, Ariana, Kenaya, Aiden, Gemma, Emma, Amron, Emily, Kala, Aiden, and Knowledge. So many kids completed their biography. I love that project in second grade. We also have a few video golden tickets to see. I want to give a golden ticket to my teacher, Miss Miss Stanley, for being the best teacher ever. First golden ticket goes to Miss Miss Bida. She's a good teacher. She helps her kids. Kids. So I'll give Miss Bida a golden ticket. Next golden ticket, Molly. Molly. Miley. Miley's gonna go, been doing a good job on her work. That's why she gets a golden ticket. Number three golden ticket. Miss Morgan, she's a good teacher. She teaches her kids good. That's number three. Those three, those three golden tickets go to, go to Miss Barda, Miley, Miss Barda, Miley, and, um, Miss Morgan. Those are the only three golden tickets that go to them. I'm going to give a golden ticket to Maisie because she is thoughtful and safe and she's always smart when the teacher raises, when the teacher asks a question, she raises her hand and so she's really smart and yeah. Golden tickets from Mr. Williams too. He's a great teacher. He um he does a great job as we to be learning us. So giving him a gold ticket too. So yeah. Oh, and Miss Aggie because she came he she came online today to talk to us about coding and yeah. And we get to move a little robot. It wasn't like in person. It was on a computer. It was on the computer, and there's like a little robot that you had to move with your hands, but with buttons that you had to press. So you have, if you haven't doing that, you're gonna have to ask Miss Agate. So I want to get Miss Agate a uh, golden ticket too. Yeah, bye. Oh, and I want to get a golden ticket, another one, like two more, to Jacob Brooks and Adelaide Hewitt, because they're both my best friend. They are really smart. The same thing I said about Maisie. So, yeah. All right, clacks and leaders. Today we have the arts cheer from an amazing kindergartner. I can already tell that Brimmy Jane is going to do great things at Claxton. I hope everyone has a totally tubular Tuesday. Take it away, Brimmy Jane. Hello, I'm Brimmy Jane. Attentive, responsible, thoughtful, and safe. Claxton leaders know how to be great. Hi, everybody. Don't forget that this week during club times on Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday, we are making the holidays special, so join the Claxton Specialist on Tuesday at 2 o'clock. If you are in kindergarten and first grade, please come to our club time with the Google Meet code Claxton Arts. On Wednesday at 2 o'clock, we would love to have all our second and third graders join us. And on Thursday at 2 o'clock, we will have a celebration with fourth and fifth graders. Please join us to make the holidays special with the Claxton Specialists. We'll have fun activities 
music, drama, media activities, and arts activities to make the holidays special. We hope to see you there. And now for a very special announcement from Miss Nichols. Hey, Clacks and friends, guess what today is? No what? <laughs> today is the Claxton Winter Drive Through Celebration. And what does that mean? It means that you are going to drive through at Claxton and you are going to first. You're gonna get a scavenger hunt because we've got tons of things for you to look at. And then you're gonna turn your radio to 99.1 for our first ever WCLX radio station, which is Claxton and staff reading some books. And then when you get through the drive-through, you're gonna get a bag with your very own Snow Pal Snow Craft, hot chocolate and marshmallows to take home and make, and all your learning materials for January. So we got a lot going on and I hope that you'll drive through with your family because I would really love to see your cute faces. I'll see you next time. Now it's time for the Claxton Pledge. At Claxton Elementary, I am a leader. I pledge to live the habits, value the arts, and celebrate our hives diversity. I work hard to learn new things and always give my best effort. I share respect to others and choose to be a leader in my community. I am attentive, responsible, thoughtful, and safe. I am a proud and dependable Claxton B, even when no one is watching me. Remember, you and your family can send in jokes and golden tickets and shout outs to our email account and we'll include them in the announcements as soon as we can. We're going to wait a little bit to set our wigs. The email account that you should email these to is clxannouncements at acsgmail.net. You can also submit to the CLX announcements by filling out the Google form on our remote learning website.